Hi everyone! Welcome to Engineered Math. In this video, I will teach you about parallel resistors. So by the way, when we discuss the different formula for voltages, currents, and resistance for parallel resistor circuits, we're gonna use the concept of Ohm's Law. So I already have a separate video about that, so if you haven't watched that yet, I will just put the link on that video in the description so you can check it also. So aside from series connections, another way of putting together resistors or any other electrical components is by connecting them in parallel. So how do we connect two or more resistors in parallel? So basically, in connecting two or more resistors in parallel, their two terminals must be connected end-to-end. -end. So let's say we have a resistor, let's say R1, and if I want to connect another resistor parallel to R1, let's say we have resistor R2, I will need to connect each end of the terminals. So I will connect this terminal of resistor R1 and this terminal of resistor R2 together. Likewise, for the lower terminal of resistor R1 and lower terminal of resistor R2, they must also be connected. And if you want to connect a third resistor, let's say R3, I will need to connect this end terminal of resistor R3 to the same node as where the two resistors are connected. So I'll extend this terminal of R3 to be connected in this junction. Likewise, for this lower terminal of R3, I will also need to connect this to the node where the lower terminals of both R1 and R2 are connected. And we can continue this pattern if we want to connect more resistors in parallel, let's say until resistor Rn. So if you want to find the total resistance of these parallel resistors, we can connect the probes of our ohmmeter in these two nodes. Now suppose we have parallel resistors R1, R2, R3, and so on, until we reach the last parallel resistor R sub n. And across these parallel resistors, I connect a battery or DC voltage source, let's say V sub T. So since we already have a closed circuit, there will be a total current, let's say I sub T, that will flow through the circuit. So what are the important characteristics of parallel resistor circuits? So the first one is, in parallel connections of resistors, the voltage drops across them will be equal or the same. Each of the voltage drop across the resistor is actually equal to the voltage source V sub T. So therefore, we have V sub T is equal to, let's say the voltage drop across this resistor R1 is V sub 1. And let's say the voltage drop across this resistor R2 is V sub 2, across this resistor R3 V sub 3, until the voltage across resistor R sub n is V sub n, they will all be equal to the source voltage V sub t. So V sub t is equal to V sub 1, equals V sub 2, equals V sub 3, equals dot dot dot, until V sub n. Now, for the total resistance of these parallel resistors, it can be computed as the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocal of each of the resistance of the resistors. So therefore, we have R sub T is equal to 1 all over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3 plus dot 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 until 1 over R sub N. So take note that if we increase the number of resistors connected in parallel, the tendency is that the total resistance also decreases. Okay? Now, what about the currents for each resistor? So, let's say the current that will flow through resistor R1 is I sub 1, through resistor R2 is I sub 2, through resistor R3 is I sub 3, until through resistor R sub N is I sub N. So, in parallel circuits, the total current IT is equal to the sum of the currents flowing through each resistor. So therefore, I sub t is equal to I sub 1 plus I sub 2 plus I sub 3 plus 
dot 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 until i sub n and this is the so-called current divider rule it means that the total current it will be divided to each resistor in parallel circuit so for every resistor in this parallel circuit ohm's law applies so therefore v is equal to ir i is equal to v over r and r is equal to v over i so if we consider the resistor r1 we can have v sub 1 is equal to i sub 1 times r sub 1 i sub 1 is equal to v sub 1 over r sub 1 and r sub 1 is equal to v sub 1 over i sub 1 likewise for the total voltage v sub t total current i sub t and total resistance r sub t ohm's law holds true as well so therefore we have v sub t is equal to i sub t times r sub t and i sub t is equal to v sub t over r sub t lastly r sub t is equal to v sub t over i sub t okay so let's try to solve an example to illustrate the concepts and formula for parallel resistor circuits so we are given three parallel resistors r1 r2 and r3 with values 3 ohms 6 ohms and 18 ohms respectively and across them there is a battery or dc voltage source with value 18 volts now let's try to find r sub t i sub t v sub 1 v sub 2 v sub 3 i sub 1 i sub 2 and i sub 3 okay so we can start by finding the value of r sub t so we have the formula that r sub t is equal to 1 over 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 plus 1 over r3 so let's just substitute the values so therefore we have 1 over 1 over r1 is 3 ohms plus 1 over r2 is 6 ohms plus 1 over r3 is 18 ohms so if we try to compute it manually or using a calculator it will be equal to 9 over 5 ohms or in decimal 1.8 ohms so therefore this is the total resistance now we can find the total current let's say this total current i sub t using ohm's law so we know that i sub t is equal to v sub t over r sub t and the value of our v sub t here is the tc source which is 18 volts so we substitute the values we have v sub t is 18 volts divided by r sub t which we obtained as 1.8 ohms so therefore we have i sub t is equal to 18 divided by 1.8 or 10 amps now to find v sub 1 v sub 2 and v sub 3 we will apply the concept that in parallel circuits the voltage drop across each resistor will be the same and they are all equal to the voltage source v sub d so therefore v sub t is equal to v sub 1 equal to v sub 2 equal to v sub 3 which is equal to 18 volts okay now to find the currents i1 i2 and i3 we just use ohm's law so getting i sub 1 we have v sub 1 divided by r sub 1 so we know that v sub 1 is equal to 18 volts divided by r sub 1 the resistance of r sub 1 is 3 ohms so we have 18 divided by 3 or 6 amps then for i sub 2 we have v sub 2 divided by r sub 2 equal to so we know that v sub 2 is equal to 18 volts divided by r sub 2 which is 6 ohms so therefore i sub 2 is equal to 18 divided by 6 or 3 amps lastly for i sub 3 we have v sub 3 divided by r sub 3 so v sub 3 is also equal to 18 volts divided by r sub 3 which is 18 ohms so therefore i sub 3 is 18 divided by 18 or 1 amp now let's check if it's true that the total current i sub t is equal to the sum of all the currents flowing through each three parallel resistor so substituting the value we have i sub 1 is equal to 6 amps plus i sub 2 is equal to 3 amps 
plus i sub 3 is equal to 1 amp. Adding them, we have 6 plus 3 plus 1 is 10 amps. And we know that i sub t as what we compute is equal to 10 amps. So therefore, we have verified that the total current is equal to the sum of the individual currents flowing through each parallel resistor. Okay? Okay, so that's how to analyze and solve parallel resistor circuits. So I hope you learned something from this video and thank you for watching.